it's it's nice to say that, to be honest. As a Michigan fan, how many springs have we been looking at? All right, we've got a QB battle, uh, you know, uh, amongst some unknowns uh, and not really knowing uh, maybe some lackluster play from the previous season. Um, so it's really, really good. It's a good feeling as Michigan fans to say, all right, JJ's our guy. He's a Big Ten championship quarterback. He's got all the tools, and he's got a year under his belt uh, where he shined, um, I would say, most towards the end of the season. Obviously made a couple mistakes, costly mistakes, in that uh, college football playoff game. But still, if you look at it as an overarching uh, look at his game, he really shined towards the end of the year. Yeah, I, I don't think it's even a situation where, okay, he's the clear starter, but check, check, check in these areas, and he's missing these couple. There's really nothing that he doesn't do well. He just needs to improve and polish his entire game uh, to become a truly elite quarterback. Yeah, I mean, really, it's it's just experience, in my opinion. It's seeing defenses for the second time around. You know, it's going back and looking at that film. It's uh, making sure that you uh, work with your uh, receivers in the offseason. I've talked with him, and that's one thing that he said specifically is last year he didn't throw with any of receivers until fall camp. And even then, it was limited because he still was returning. Uh, and he was splitting time with Cade McNamara for those uh, QB1 snaps. So I think this spring and summer are going to be huge for J.J. McCarthy to get in a rhythm with his receivers and get them on you know, you know good timing and be working together and just get him comfortable as the leader of this offense. You know, he until game two, uh, game three, he didn't know he was the starter. You know, so that's a, a big deal, in my opinion, in your head to go through a full offense and know that you're commanding this offense. And so I, you know, we saw obviously a big ramp up of JJ in uh, this past year. I see an even bigger step for him in 2023 to really put it all together and put him on the map, possibly in some NFL draft mock boards.